couple trucks over there parked illegally. We're gonna go check it out. No stopping violation. I can't be having this, guys. Oh, yes, I, can, I can't have it. One minute, two minutes, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna write you a ticket. Pain the ass, these people. Every day. They look for us because we're easy tickets. The more you get, the more trouble you get in, you know? We got all three of these trucks parked here. They all want to load here. This is all no stopping. This is a running lane. And, you know, we can't have that. You think I care? Like a mall cop. You didn't give me a ticket, did you? Yeah, I did. You said I got two minutes. I didn't say you have any minutes. You just said I'll give you two I'm minutes. Me a you I said, said I'll give you two minutes, minutes and then you get a ticket. ticket. See what I mean? Every day. Every day. This guy's getting a ticket too. But I can't see his license plate. Putting the door all the way up like that blocks his license plate. Yeah, I gotta wait till he's done to get out. So hopefully it ain't gonna be long. Where's your plate? My plate? I'm in my truck. I can't get a ticket. I can give you a ticket yes I can. I don't care! You're not paying attention. Here's the focus, right here. No, you're being a little smart ass. I don't care. You're blocking a running lane. You're nothing. You, you know what you are? You're a guy who couldn't make it into a police force, so you're a parking authority. I never person. tried. Exactly, because you couldn't be one. No, I'm not talking about my personal life. But... You couldn't be one, so you walk around and with your you're big ass. You see this? What is that? I'm going to show you're you what nothing. it is as soon as you pull that down. You got stuck you because you're an idiot. And then we'll get into you got that. stuck because you're an idiot. That's what it is. Don't open up your mouth unless you know you're Hey, listen, 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 I'm not here to talk about okay, this. Okay, so kiss I'm my ass and shut up. This. Okay? I'm telling you what to do. All right, my man. So kiss my ass and shut up. A mole cop has more authority than you. Yeah, listen, I didn't see that's, you pull that down yet. That's how weak you I are. I didn't see you pull that down yet. I'm not pulling it down. This is ridiculous. You don't How come he ain't got a ticket, but I did? How come this guy had a guy? And I didn't even call you or not. He's keeping his door up, and that's what his license plate is. I'm waiting for him to come out. Ridiculous. You're a bull cop. He's getting very personal, but I'm just going to do my job and make sure, you know, he understands how it's going to work out. What you doing? So he's going to leave eventually, and he's going to have to pull down his door, and I'm going to get his license plate. Now you need my ticket, I'm gonna shut the door down, okay? Make it a little bit easier for you. Didn't have to be this difficult, man. You get tickets yeah, all the but time. You guys, you guys don't understand what's going on because all you do is push buttons for a living. I actually have to do a hard job. You push buttons for a living. Here's the focus. You're blocking a running lane. You did not give that guy in front of me a ticket. So I gave the guy behind you a ticket. You were next. Okay, but what left. about him? He was jumping in his truck and he's about to leave. What am I gonna do? Chase him around the block? How are you gonna? He could have left too. He could have simply left too. And we were still making a Listen. Okay, you're but you make no sense. This is just this like is a done deal. I don't care. You think I care? I don't care. Then why? Then why the big deal? Why are you giving me a hard time as soon as because I get here? You know I do this for a living. That's all you can do. Exactly. I do my job. You what are you doing, doing right now? I actually do a good job. I bet you do, my man. Yeah, but my job is not giving people a hard time. Your job is. You gave me a hard time, buddy. You're the one coming you right off with me your a hard time. smug ass attitude, on, and you get put in your place, and that's exactly how it goes. Explain to me what this city does. Here's what they do. They do with it. That's what they do. See you later. Yeah, see your little too. Don't be coming in my face like that, too. Your little little. Show your little badge, too, by the way. There is a sign that says buzz zone, no stop at any time. This is a problem. Parked right in the bus zone. I told this dude. I just got, got I'm delivering. Yeah, I know, man. Listen, the only thing I can do for you is probably not give you the fire hydrant, but I'm going to give you the buzz zone, all right? Oh, my God. Man, you shouldn't have given me because I'm here. Why don't you start writing this over with? That's not a hydrant ticket. I gave him a buzz zone. He's in a buzz zone and he in a hydrant. He got two tickets right here. I gave him one. Fifty-one dollars. He shouldn't give me. You know, he he's supposed to tell me to move my car. If I'm not here, he's right. But if I'm here, he's not right. If I'm here, he's he's totally right. He's wrong. But if I'm not here, he's right. But I'm here, he shouldn't give me the ticket. I just don't get it. Sean is right there. Ah, he never gave me the ticket, and they never give me because I don't have trouble over here a lot. 
I'm gonna go find the ticket anyway. Because you won't break though. If he give me the brake, he should have tell me to move the car. You are in denial. I'm sorry? You are deep denial. No. Everybody's saying that you were wrong. I'm gonna move it anyway. You know what I mean? Because it was a safety violation, it's an automatic ticket. No, he try to give ticket for everybody. He no care. He no care. That's, that's wrong. He no care, OK? I'm saying that he cut him no, a big break. No, because he cut him out. That's wrong. That's, that's wrong. No, I there. think it's right. No, sure. no, sure. no. Oh, uh, no, you know what? Here we go again. It's still the same old drama. If sure. I'm not there, sure. you can give me that $1,000. Sure. No, Why? No, no, Why did I want you to here one second if I'm going to give food? He's, look. He's parked in front of a fire hydrant. I'm Common here. Common sense tell you, don't nobody park in front of a fire hydrant. But I'm here. I'm in five feet over here. You bought that, homie. I'm sorry? You you bought every last bit of that. No. He just said that he could have gave you an $81 ticket. If for anything, you should be thinking it. But $81, if I'm not here, I'm, he's right. But because I'm here, he's not right. This is the city of Philadelphia. When you with the vehicle, you have an opportunity to be able to move your car. That's fine. How many tickets to get my, my car? How many tickets? Huh? You taking care of business in there. OK. Wait. And I'm taking care of business out here. You can be able Once you leave that vehicle, and once you go away into one of these businesses on the strip here, that's going to be a problem. Because now, I don't know if that car been there for two days, one day, or half an hour. That's it. My uh -huh. customer is here. He come and take one, one beach. And I told him, OK, you not give him ticket. You told me, no, it's wrong. I got to give him a ticket. Yeah, That's how I feel you. Yeah, he understands. I was sweeping You might have been right here, I but I'm sweeping. not looking for you to be there. I'm yeah, looking for the car to be in the wrong spot. You was here. Once that car is in the wrong spot, outside. that's you automatic. You may understand. Different no business or nothing. No walking in the buzz zone. OK. That's it. All right, Zim Zim. They've towed my car. I was in a loading zone, and they took it and said I have three tickets, and I don't have three tickets. So I'm now waiting in this line to try to speak with the manager. I'm sorry? I was waiting for a manager. Oh, OK. Yo, gay. She wants to speak to a supervisor. You have my car. OK, what kind of vehicle is it? 2005 Honda Odyssey. Is it about the fees that you're being charged? No, I'll pay the fee for towing my car. That's fine, but I... But is she saying that you owe more than 125 She's saying I owe $536. In order to get your car out today? Yes. Look like it's hurting you really is the um, handicapped parking ticket. Right, which was dismissed. How do I get well, that? Well, that's actually still on there for $338. Say what? Because you had a hearing on that, right? Yes, and it got dismissed. Okay. They actually still have it on there. Uh, Unfortunately, there's nothing I could do about it but refer you to 913 Filbert Street. If you want to pick up your vehicle today, you will have to pay everything the cashier told you to pay, which is that 411 plus the toll fee. I want a printout of everything on there then, and I want proof that I paid this today. Yeah, that's, she, because she, I want she, my money back. She can get it all to you. How do I get my money back? She can explain that to But you. I'm saying, once I pay this, how do I get my money back? She'll give you a total contest form, and you have to fill that out and mail it back in. They'll send you a hearing date in the mail. So now I have to wait again to, to get my $348. I guess you want to go to Filbert Street first. This is ridiculous. Who do I pay? Because I want my money back. Two ones is over. Listen to me. We have to pay now. Now I have to pay so I can have my car to go home and pick up my kids. They're wondering where mommy is with the car. I want my car back. The registration is not up to date. I need to see a current registration card. This says it expired April 30th, ma'am. So what, what are you telling me? I can't get my car until I show you that? I mean, you're not even a cop. It's not your decision. It's not your decision. Sure it is. Absolutely. You need to have registration insurance and a valid driver's license for us to release the vehicle. OK, and I have it's registration insurance and a valid driver's license. All right, well, then show me your current registration right. card. Go home and get it, please. Go home and get it. Uh, I'm not kidding. Go home and get the damn paper. I want my car back. Here's my driver's license. Sam, listen to me. I need to see your husband's driver's license. I can't give you my husband's driver's license because you sent my husband home to get the paper to prove to you that my registration's here. When he comes back, I'll handle you personally, okay, right? Give other me back that, my driver's license and all my information, that, please. I'm going to ask you to step away from the window. All right, so we give can me all my information, all right. please. All right, please give me all my information. Okay, well, we're going to copy it. No, now. I would like it now. And no, you can copy we're gonna, it when I'm Listen, ma'am, we are going to copy no, it, then I'll hand it back to you. Copy it then when I'm going to ask you to step away from the window. When I'm right. finished, you may copy it. Until now, now I want my information back. Ma'am, there's no point in arguing over that. I want my information back. I want my information back. Here, here's your information. 
Just so you know. I don't care. Please give me back my information. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Thank you. Okay, now please step away from the window. Thank you. I am. Why are you sitting there so sad? Is it really that bad? All right, he didn't bring the top portion. That's all he brought. The top portion is when everything's due. This is not your registration card. This is a application to renew your registration card. Now, I can't accept that. But if you want to go, there is a place Listen, nearby. I just moved to New Jersey. I want to do it in New Jersey. But you still have to get it registered before we'll allow it to be taken from the lot, all right? Why? A lot of paperwork. I've gotten locked up and out of bail quicker than this. The car's coming. You can go get it now. I really don't even like the car that much. It's been a horrible day and a horrible experience with the parking authority. Bye, guys. Robert was not a very nice man. I hope I never have to deal with Robert again. You said it was a rental car, right? Yeah. Give him this kid over here. He's going to give you a a uh, sign was unfairly marked, and it turned out that they ended up towing us. It confused us. We're out of towners, and uh, now we're paying the uh, <laughs> paying the, the Grim Reaper 125. It's a rental car, it. and all that so stuff's in the vehicle. Who's rental agreement under? Whose name? Uh, I guess it's mine. Did you take out the insurance with this? I have my own insurance. You want to see my insurance? I'm going to have to see a copy of that also. Yes. Well, maybe we should just. Go to the airport and let Davis deal with it. <laughs> Can I see you smile? Got your insurance? You want my health insurance? No, sir. That won't do. I'm sorry? I said, no, sir. That will not do. Must have car insurance. <laughs> you know, the men sometimes think they can get away with it with the women, but when they get to Larry, they know better. Sir, take these over to the blue building, you'll get your rental agreement, then you'll come back, and we'll process everything. Okay? Thanks for your customer service. Notice the unprofessional way that things were, were said and done here as well. Friendly attitude. You'd think that they would actually at least have service with a smile, and especially when the signs are not clearly labeled. Of course, uh, he was kind of rude towards us. I really feel like this is uh, an abuse of power. Good luck, man. I'll see you when you get out. <laughs> uh, my friend actually just went to our car, and the unbelievable thing is I cannot go with him. I don't know what they think we would actually be doing if I went with him. Why? Because it's safety purposes. Why? Why was it safe? Last time one of our officers was, was jumped by two people. Rules and regulations are only one person left. Again, uh, treated very unprofessionally and just, well, again, abused. I'm free. I'm free. Why do we need to go back and forth? What's the deal? Because we didn't have to Is this what you want? Uh, sir, I wanted to find out uh, why is it that we were towed as opposed to ticketed? Wouldn't it have made sense to have gotten a ticket from Well, if it makes you happier, you did get a ticket. <laughs> we did get a ticket as well. Yeah. Isn't that uh, almost like double jeopardy getting uh, double whammy. hit for both crimes? No. You parked illegal, you get a ticket, and then we towed the car because you're blocking the street. We're not blocking the street. We have certain streets in Philadelphia that during rush hour, you cannot park on the street so traffic can flow. The city of Philadelphia needs to be a little more clear with their signage, don't you think? You have a problem with the city. You don't have a problem with me, you, You're contracted out through the city, No, I'm not. I'm well, sure you are. You work for the city of Philadelphia. No, I don't. Who do you work for? I work for Philadelphia Parking Authority. And Philadelphia Parking Authority is contracted out through the city of no, Philadelphia. they're not. By the way, we weren't happy about getting the ticket. Sir, I have to say it's a little bit unprofessional the way that you're speaking to us. Well, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> uh, again, you know, the, the professionalism. You came up here with an attitude. Well, do you think it would make most people happy to get a, a ticket in addition to getting towed? Whatever you say. Mr. Berger, do you, know the, do you think it must be a tough job? He, do you think he ever gets happy people? Probably not so much. And, you and then you become jaded, and you, be, you get the chip on your shoulder, and you get kind of pissy with customers. If I was in his position, I'd be upset favor? as well. Please back away from the window, because you have no business being here. <laughs> Please back away from the window. Again, feeling like I am a convict in, in the city of brotherly love. Are you happy about working here? I love my job. 
I would be curious as to find out uh, what his boss would have to say about the things that uh, he's been saying. He's not yelling. I think Larry's doing good today so far. <laughs> Sign right at that X for me, sir, for the release of your vehicle. The more time I get to spend with you, the, 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 better, uh, the better life is. <laughs> uh, just sign here. Yeah. That's correct, sir. You yeah, always get that 5% that give you a hard time. Next in line. So what do we do? What do I do? Take it over to the blue building over there, sir. All right. You have a fabulous day, Mr. Berger. You too. I don't think he liked me. What do you think? Ah, he was small potatoes. He needs to be a little more professional, a little more courteous. Obviously, people that come here are very upset. I'd actually like to invite Mr. Berger to come to Chicago. I flew over Chicago once. It's a nice city. So that uh, he can see uh, what a real city is like. That's why the Cubs are so bad, because people <laughs> like him.